You have frequented this town mm -hmm. for 15 years. Yes. And there's 89 people in that li supposedly live here. Yeah, yeah 90. And 90. <laughs> Who's that extra last person? <laughs> 90. But um, it grows to 150,000 people. Anywhere from 100 to 150,000 twice a year for the show. For the show. Which we're in the middle of. Okay, so I want to know your answer to when do you come to Round Top? Because if you look online, it's extremely confusing. There is no one entity that that is over all of this. If you own property, you can have a show. But everybody tries to obviously work, you know, within a realm. And so now it's about two and a half weeks, three weeks long. <laughs> What used to be seven days. Which used to be seven days. Mm -hmm. So now when people ask when they should come, they either would want to come in the very beginning when the larger shows like The Compound, um, Blue Hills, Arbors, those types of shows all open in the beginning of the show. And we talk about first picks. Yeah. That before, you know, the, the big crowds come and begin to buy, you're able to, you know, be one of those first people to see what the better stuff is. Mm -hmm. They do have merchandise throughout the entire time, but obviously we're all putting out our best in the beginning, yeah. you know, to some degree. Some people are holding back, you know, so that they have good stuff throughout the whole time. So tell me, what's your advice to people when they just really don't know where to start? So I think it, it depends on what you're coming for. Are you coming for something specific or are you just coming to shop and let your emotions, you know, mm -hmm. kind of drive the wheel? Um, so if you're looking for something, you want to bring measurements, you want to bring photographs, you want to bring, you know, colors if you can do that so that on the fly you're making decisions. And mm -hmm. that's the one thing that is so hard, different than going to our house or, you know, wherever, a pottery barn. Where you can go back. Yeah, where you can go back. Here, you know, if you leave, mm -hmm. it's very possible that it's not going to be there. And let me tell you something, <laughs> how many things I have been like, oh, I, wish I, got oh, I did not Yeah, you that. can't hesitate. I would say that's really good advice. Like if it's pulling on your heartstrings yes. and you think it's right, you cannot hesitate because the chances that it's there when you go back are very slim. Okay, another question that we get asked a lot when people DM us about Round Top is, should I bring a truck? You know, that is definitely the cheapest way of doing it. You do have to make sure that you have a place for it to stay. Mm -hmm. So here we have a lot of, of open space where our guests are able to bring it. Um, you also have to weigh out, you know, all of the costs, how long mm -hmm. you're going to be here versus, and of course, if you can even do that, if you're close enough to bring your own truck, even though I've had people do that from California, they may even fly mm -hmm. and then come here, get the truck and then drive back, which mm -hmm. probably would be, you know, a, a good idea. But there are also shippers mm -hmm. that are here that, um, base their pricing on, how many others they're taking to that particular place. So if a bunch of people are going to LA, which they always do, mm -hmm. then the pricing is going to be less than if they're going to Toledo. Interesting. And you probably don't know that. You just kind of have to sign mm -hmm. up to be on the shipping list. A little bit. Mm -hmm. They can give you, you know, guesstimations mm -hmm. based on when you purchased, if other people have already purchased, mm -hmm. or if it's, a, like I said, a city that they're, you know, naturally going to be going to. Okay. The other thing is, where do you eat? <laughs> because we feel like you there's just a few places and if you're coming I feel like you have to make reservations for you do, dinner, without right? a doubt and uh, way ahead sometimes mm -hmm. some of them are like six months it can be and so just getting organized same thing with lodging though yes you know you have to those two things you've got to really do ahead of time how far in advance do y'all book so we're very odd because okay. we operate a business branding and social media workshop and retreats and events mm -hmm. so we actually and we have repeat customers mm -hmm. so we wait until about two months before the show to begin filling in mm -hmm anyone that isn't a, you know, a, a repeat customer yeah, repeat, yeah. and that all of our events have been established. Okay. Last bit of advice that you would give, like what, if, if someone's coming to Round Top for their first time and most of the time they're coming, they're not a designer. I mean, they might just be shopping for themselves. They're just coming to enjoy the experience. Like what is your, what do you tell people to do when they come here? Or like, 
what, 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 how should they approach round top? So we have a uh, guide on our website, first of all, Perfect. that um, has other people's guides on it too, that have the names of the different venues. And I would definitely go to these larger venues first. So it depends on really your price point, because if you are looking for something that is more curated, where you don't want to really dig, I'm a digger. Mm -hmm. So Warrington and some of the shows, uh, a lot of the shows are that. You're literally digging in booze and boxes and looking for the thing. And it is less expensive. Mm -hmm. But if you go to these larger um, venues, you know, it's very curated. Some of them are very expensive. So again, it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. The space is so beautifully designed. I'm so impressed. And you have created an oasis that makes people feel really like at peace when they come, because I would say round top are long days. They are. Your feet hurt, you're tired, you're hungry, and you get to come back to, you know, the vintage round top and feel very like rested, peaceful, and you kind of gear up to go back out again <laughs> the next day. So we just, I loved meeting you and, and letting, like, really appreciate you sharing your tips to this kind of mysterious town. Well, thank you for, for coming and, and having me on. Um, all of those things that you just said coming from you, you know, that just means the world because I feel the same way about you. Uh-oh, so thanks, thank Paige. you so much. I, appreciate I love it. it. Your website is? TheVintageRoundTop.com, which is T-H-E. Don't name your business with a the. <laughs> That's the first thing. That's you one tip for you. Yeah. Um, but it's thevintageroundtop.com. Beautiful. Thank you, Paige. Thank okay, you. you guys, we'll see you next time <laughs> and we'll bring more tips uh, to round from Roundtop again and again and again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can talk about Roundtop forever. <laughs>